Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter three, lesson nine. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Um, so first it wants us to estimate, well, 4.2 is gonna round to four, and 2.5 is gonna round to three, so our estimate's gonna be one, okay? Now we're just gonna go ahead and do the actual math. Now on these ones, we're subtracting, it says subtract decimal, so we're not adding anymore, we're subtracting, okay? The very first thing that you need to do when you are working with adding or subtracting decimals is drop down your decimal, okay? So three minus one is two. Two cannot take away five. I need to borrow one, making that a 12. 12 take away five is seven, and three take away two is one. 1.72, okay? All right, estimate. Well, 8.6 is gonna round to nine, and 5.1 is gonna round to five, so my estimate is four, okay? Now, when I do the actual math, I bring down my decimal. Six minus one is five, and eight minus five is three, okay? All right, you guys are going to do four on your own, okay? I am only going to, you're actually gonna do five, six, Okay, so you guys are gonna do actually five through 12 on your own, okay? But I am going to, you'll notice how they lined up their decimals, but sometimes there's not a number underneath. If it makes you more comfortable, put a zero. As long as it's after the decimal, put a zero, okay? The most important thing is that you line up your decimals, okay? So even these ones, if you have to, see like this one says 11.63 minus 6.7, you'll notice there's not a number there. Just add a zero, it's fine, okay? So finish up through number 12, we are gonna go down to number 13, okay? The width of the tree was 3.15 inches last year. This year it's 5.38 inches. How much did the width of the tree increase? So we need to find the difference. So the bigger number goes on top, the smaller number goes on bottom and we subtract, okay? So we're gonna go drop down our decimal, very first thing, okay? Five, or sorry, eight minus five is three, three minus one is two, and five minus three is two, and that's being measured in inches, okay? The temperature increased from 71.5 degrees Fahrenheit to 50, oh, decreased, sorry, to 56.8 degrees Fahrenheit overnight, how much did the temperature drop? Same thing, guys, okay? Bigger number goes on top, subtract the smaller number, make sure that your decimals are lined up, okay? Drop your decimal first thing, okay? That's the first thing that you do. Now, five can't take away eight, so I need to borrow one, making it 15. 15 take away eight is seven. Zero cannot take away six, I need to borrow one from there, making it 10. 10 take away six is four, and six take away five is one. So 14.7 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Yes, you can write out degrees, okay? If it makes you feel better, okay? But since it's being measured in degrees Fahrenheit, our label is degrees Fahrenheit, okay? All right, you're gonna turn it over. You guys are gonna do the lesson check, and we are gonna go ahead and do the spiral review. So the spiral review, so the dairy farm has nine pastures and 630 cows. The same number of cows are placed in each pasture. How many cows are in each pasture? So nine into 630, okay? Well, nine's not gonna go into six. Nine's gonna go into 63 seven times. Seven times nine is 63. Subtract, I hit zero. Now here's the cool thing. Because this ended in zero and I just have a zero, I can just move that zero up and I don't have to do the whole process over again. So how many cows? 70 cows. Done. Okay. All right. Maya records 6.75 minutes of an interview on one tape and 3.75 minutes of an interview on another tape. How long was the total interview? Just going to add them up, guys. 6.75. 3.75. Add them up, make sure that we label in minutes. Okay, first thing, drop the decimal. Then start adding, five plus five is 10, carry the one. One plus seven is eight, 
plus 7 more is 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 3 is 10. So 10.5, you don't actually have to put that 0 if you don't want to, but you can. Minutes, okay? All right. Joanna, Dana, and Tracy share some trail mix. Joanna ate 0.125 pounds of trail mix. Dana ate 0.1 pounds, and Tracy ate 0.12 pounds of trail mix. List the friends in order from least to greatest, okay? So, Joanna, Dana, Tracy. Joanna, 0 0.125. Dana, 0 0.1. And Tracy, 0 0.12. So, if I filled these out so that they were all, they all had the same amount of digits, that makes it a little bit easier on me, okay? We're doing it from least to greatest. So, least to greatest, okay? So, smallest number first, okay? They all have a zero. They all have a one, okay? Now, two of these have a two, but we're looking for the smallest one, and that's going to be with a zero. So, uh, list the friends. So, it's going to be Dana. Okay, now they both have a two. This one's done. Okay, now this one has a zero and that one has a five. Well, zero is smaller than five, so it's going to be Tracy next. And it's going to be Joanna last. Okay, all right, guys, last one. A local park has four bike racks. Each bike rack can hold 15 bikes. There are 16 bikes in the bike rack. Which expression shows the total number of empty spaces in the bike rack? So I would say four bike racks. Each one can hold 15. That's going to be my first one. Okay. Now, 16 of those spaces are already filled. So I'm going to take those 16 away from the available spaces. Okay. Because it wants to know the empty spaces. That's your expression, guys. That's it. Okay. Good job. Thanks for hanging out for, for 3.9. Come on back for 310.